So we got the lamps to Atlantis for review and I have to say that this is one of the mice of 2022 that really has surprised me. In the pictures I've seen this very flimsy looking transparent plastic base but overall the build quality on the Atlantis is actually insanely good, especially considering that it's their first mouse. There is a minimal amount of side flex when I'm really pressing the sides, but there is some rattle that seems to come from the scroll wheel, but this does not happen in real use. So this is the rattle without me holding down the scroll wheel. And now I press the scroll wheel and shake it. The click feel is also very premium on the Atlantis, so these switches are crispy and tactile and they are still easy to spam in game. So I would not call these heavy at all, but because of the snappy actuation, these do feel heavier than some Omrons. There is quite a bit of pre-travel on the left click when I actuate it from the front but minimal amount when I do it from the middle and same for the right click. And a decent amount of post travel to keep the clicks feeling smooth and soft, which is needed especially when the switches are this tactile and crispy. These actually might be some of the best clicks that I've ever tried in terms of how functional and premium feeling they are. The side buttons are even very crispy and premium feeling, the actuation is very nice, no pre-travel pretty much at all, but there is some post-travel when I really force it. But I can't say that I would feel this in-game. Just from the sound you can pretty much tell that these are very tactile. The scroll wheel is very smooth and light, I would prefer more tactile steps myself, but this is good enough to use in-game and in regular use. I am extremely happy and surprised about the feel of all of the buttons. The mouse feet that Lamzu are using are very good, so these are pure PTFE, the edges are very rounded and these are extremely smooth. For example with the Agile Cables desk pad, the experience is still quite smooth but there is still that good amount of dynamic friction. Same applies for the Artisan Hate Otsu and I actually think that these might be some of the best dog feet that I've tried and this is pretty surprising that again, this is their first mouse. The sensor is the 3395 from Pixar and there have been some minor issues with it. The pixel jump issue that was reported on Reddit should now be fixed, but the sensor still has more motion delay than on the 3370 which is a little bit sad to see. I talked to a couple of experts and this may be because of some power saving features which Pixar can disable in the future so this should be a fairly easy firmware fix. But for now it's about 1 millisecond slower than any 3370 wireless implementation which of course you won't notice in game. The battery life is decent as it is on all 3395 implementations so it should last you for about a week or two. Of course it will heavily depend on how much you will use the mouse. The weight for the Lamsu Atlantis is about 50 56 grams on my scale and I have to say that it feels very well balanced and especially for this size the mouse is extremely lightweight. It's really effortless to move even for somebody who fingertip grips but I wouldn't necessarily recommend a mouse in this size category for a fingertip grip. The surface finish feels similar to the X2 that Pulsar has but it's a little bit rougher and feels more premium and creepier for me than the X2 surface finish. It actually even might have a coating which is pretty impressive considering it's just their first mouse and for example the X2 does not have a coating as far as I know. But yeah let's finally move on to the shape and there is of course one mouse that this is heavily inspired by and that is the XM1. These are pretty much the same length and they feel pretty similar in hand. They are also pretty much just as wide at the same height as well, with the XM1 maybe being a tad bit higher profile. It's a little bit weird because the mouse does feel smaller for me than the XM1, and this may be because the XM1 seems to flare out a little bit more towards the front, whereas the Lamsu Atlantis doesn't seem to flare out that much at all towards the front of the mouse. The hump is also a little bit different so the XM1 harm feels a little bit more aggressive whereas there seems to be a little bit more of a gradual curve on the Lamsu making it feel a little bit different in hand. Looking at these two from the side profile, the Lamsu hump is more towards the middle, as how the mouse slopes down towards the front seems to be more aggressive than on the XM1. And also looking at these two from behind, you can see that the hump on the Atlantis is way more flat than on the XM1, which is kind of this oval kind of shape. The Atlantis also has these minor comfort grooves on the bottoms and the XM1 has none whatsoever, so even this does make a difference for the fingers that you hold on your 
buttons. Overall, with all of these minor differences, the hand feel is different to the XM1. So for me, who likes to relax claw this shape, the lesser front flare on the mouse makes it feel more comfortable for that relaxed claw style. Overall, these shapes are very similar though, and the biggest things are the back flare, which is quite massive, so the back is quite wide on these mice and the fact that these sides are very slanted. What I mean with that is that from the bottom here the mouse is thinner than compared to what it is from the top. So the sides are kind of diagonal like this which makes the mouse easier to lift. So yeah, the Lambs at Landis pretty much seems to tick all the boxes but there is still one little question mark that I have from the company and it is that how will the quality control be when they go to production? You have to remember the fact that they've made about 20 copies or something for reviewers and people who test these so it's way, way easier to control the quality for about 20 samples than it is for, let's say, 200 production units. I wouldn't be extremely surprised if we see some issues in the production samples, but this seems extremely promising from Lamsu. The only issue they have is that the price is going to be pretty much the same on the Atlantis than it's going to be with the XM2 Wireless, but the XM2 Wireless will have a different MCU and a more customized firmware, which will most likely make the XM2 Wireless perform better than the Atlantis does. But it's a completely different topic that can you actually feel the difference in game on the Atlantis and the XM2 wireless when it actually launches at some point. Well, whatever happens, the Lamzu Atlantis is a massive positive surprise and the shape might even actually be a little bit better for me than the XM1 is. I'm still not a massive fan of the shape and the size, so for example, something like the Extra Fire M42 wireless feels much better for me. And for example, still the X2 medium from Pulsar even feels better. Final thoughts are as such that if they can keep the quality control in check when they release this mouse for production, this will be a banger. Thank you Lamzu for sending the mouse for review, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it and see you in the next one.